Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided I wanted to just do a easy, basic, simple smoky eye and a red lip, something that I pretty much never do, but I actually really, really love. I love smoky eyes and I love red lips. So I decided to go ahead and put it together today, okay? So yeah, just a simple smoky eye and a red lip. Of course, you can create this smoky eye with a whole plethora of palettes. You don't have to use the palette that I use because it's basically just a nice, soft, warm brown, orange, black, you know, just some basic colors that you'll find in several palettes or if you have singles. Very, very easy to do. So the palette that I actually use to create my smoky eye today is one of the Revolution Color Books. This is color book number two, and this is the one that has all the gorgeous warm tones in it. So I felt like this was perfect for me to use to create the smoky eye that I wanted to do today. Now, it didn't get deep enough for me. I used, you know, one of these super dark browns down here. It didn't get quite deep enough, so I did go in with a black from another palette just because I wanted it a little bit deeper <laughs> on my mobile lid area. So if you'd like to see how I created this simple smoky eye and this bold red lip today, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so like I stated, I'm using my Revolution Color Book number 02 today. And the first shade I'm using is this really light pale. It's kind of like a cross between a tan and a peach shade. Very, very nice transition color. I'm just using a soft, fluffy brush to just kind of blend that out in the upper portion of my lid. You can't really see it very much, but it's going to act very nicely to create the gradient that I want for this smoky eye. As I go in with the darker shadows, you'll see how placing this shadow down is really going to help to create that nice seamless blend up into my brow bone. Next, I'm going into this gorgeous, it's kind of like a sienna brown. You know, those that have kind of like an orange tint to them very very pretty it's hard to describe shadows when you don't have any names and there's like 50 shades in here <laughs> just kind of in different gradients but as you can see that color it is it's kind of like a really pretty orange brick type brown but this shadow blended in very nicely with that lighter shade and it's really going to create a very nice gradient as I add the darker shadows. Now for my lid, I'm going in with this black gel liner. I oftentimes do this when I'm creating a smoky eye because I do like to have a nice, solid, even, dark lid. You know, I like to put down this base before I add a dark shadow because it just kind of helps your shadow last longer throughout the day and it makes sure it helps to make sure that you have a nice even base for your shadow as well so for this dark smoky eye i definitely went in with this black gel liquid liner you can use any gel liquid liner as long as it's one that stays put all day and you don't have to worry about it moving around and as you can see i'm keeping it right on my lid now to blend out my crease i'm going into a darker cooler tone brown just to kind of make that transition from that super dark lid up into those brighter more colorful browns now this is going to take a little bit of elbow grease because whenever you're blending out a gel eyeliner you know whether you're just kind of smoking it out to create a smoky look on your eye or if you're you know actually using it to blend it out as your liner it is not as easy to blend out as a eyeshadow so i'm just using a little bit of a denser brush just to make sure i get that super dark brown blended nicely with that lid to help with the gradient now i wanted to have a little bit more depth on my lid so i'm going into my morphe 3503 and this is 
the Fierce by Nature palette. There is a black in here. This is not the blackest black that I have in my collection, but it was dark enough for today's look. As you can see, just tapping that on top of that black gel liner really helped to deepen up my mobile lid area. So I'm just going in with that brush, making sure to gently blend the black into that brown. This can take a little bit of time because you want it to be very, very well blended. So I'm just going in with some more of that brown, making sure everything is coming together nicely. You might have to go back and forth a few times just to get the blend right, but that's the key to a nice smoky eye is just getting that blend absolutely perfect. So as you can see, the shadow shields really help to give you a nice, clean, crisp line. It also helps when you're creating your wing liner to give you a guide, makes it nice and simple. So I'm just using my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner to create this wing today. On my lower lash line, I'm going in with my Milani Stay Put Waterproof uh, Pencil Liner. And to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into that really deep, dark brown. It's more of kind of like a cool tone brown uh, and smoking out my lower lash line with that. And for my inner corner pop, I'm just taking one of the gold shimmers out of this palette and tapping it on a dry brush on my inner corner. I popped on some Tati lashes and for my lower lash line, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. For my red lips today, I'm using my MAC Anniversary Lipstick. This is the Viva Glam 1. Very, very gorgeous red shade, but it's a little bit brighter than I wanted for this look today, although you could rock this by itself. I wanted to add a little bit of dimension, so I went in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner just to create a tiny bit of an ombre look for these lips, just giving a little bit of depth to it. And this is the look, you guys. I absolutely love it. I think it's just a nice, classic, smoky eye and red lip very easy to do so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles